solving equations using addition or subtraction. Well, 3 plus 5 equals 8 is an equation. Okay, one side equals the other side. If we add 3 plus 5, we get 8. 8 equals 8. You've been doing those a long time. X plus 7 equals 22 is also an equation, but we can't combine the X and the 7 because they are not like terms. Okay? Here we could combine the 3 and the 5 because they're like terms. Here we can't. So what we're trying to do is solve for, for what X is. And to solve the equation, we use the inverse, which is a synonym for opposite operation. So in this problem, x plus 7, the operation is addition. So the inverse would be subtraction. All right. Here I'm going to say it again. x plus 7 equals 22. The operation is addition. So the inverse operation would be subtraction. And to keep it equal, since it's an equation, whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, well, we must also do on the other side of the equal sign, always, all right? So it's addition, the opposite is subtraction. I'm going to subtract seven under the seven and seven under the 22. Now, you know positive seven plus negative seven is zero. That's the additive inverse. I'm going to cross this out, x equals 15, okay? I'd also like you to box your answers, please. All right, let's see what else we have. Here's another example of an equation, x minus 8 equals 20. How many of you know the answers to this before we've even started? Hopefully, all of you. I don't want to know what the answer is and just have you do it in your head. That's not what I'm teaching you. You know how to do that. What I'm teaching you is how to solve these problems algebraically because at some point this is going to be a very little piece of a great big equation. So you need to know how to do the inverse operations. So since the operation here is subtraction, the inverse will be addition. We will add 8 to both sides. Negative 8 and positive 8 make 0. So I just cross it out. They cancel each other out. We are left with the x. The equal signs are lined up. And 8 plus 20 is 28. Let's do another problem. x plus 7 equals negative 12. So yes, there are two signs here, but this is the only operation, okay, the plus. This is telling you negative 12. It's not an operation. So the operation of it is addition. The opposite or inverse would be subtraction. Subtract 7 from both sides. Po minus 7 and, po and positive 7 make 0. You just cancel them out. The x, the equal sign gets lined up. And if I have the same signs, negative 7 and negative 12, Remember the alliteration, same signs, sum? I just have a lot more negatives, negative 19. Now you can check to make sure you're right by substituting your solution into the original equation. So let's check these two problems now. Here's my original equation, x minus 8 equals 20. I say x equals 28. So I'm going to plug this 28 in for the x in my original equation. I'll make an arrow there. So basically right here. Okay? I started the check already. 28 minus 8 is 20. Is that true? Is 28 minus 8 20? Yes. You have to show me this line because you have to show that it's true. Because what if by accident you um, added and got like 25? You couldn't read your writing. And then you'd say 25 minus 8 equals 20. Hopefully you would realize, oh, that's not right. I made a mistake, and go back and fix your answer. Okay, so you have to show me that this is true. Here's our problem up here. X plus 7 equals negative 12. We got X equals negative 19. I'm going to plug this negative 19 in for this X. So I'm going to rewrite the problem, but I put negative 19 instead of the X. It's not a very good negative 19. Let me erase that and do that again negative 19 plus 7. Now my signs are different. This is a negative, this is a positive. 
Remember, different signs, you take the difference, you subtract them. There are more negatives to begin with than there are positives, so I know my answer is going to be negative, and 19 take away 7 is 12, so I know I'm correct. All right. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't box my answers up here originally. I want to box my answers. Sorry about that. Okay, you don't have to box your answers in the check. Sometimes you could simplify first. It's easier if you do. Sometimes you might have a problem that says x plus negative 12 equals 18. Well, what's the operation? I have two signs. I don't know. I can't just put this is I can't just put the opposite like I could here. So you need to realize that adding a negative is the same as subtracting, okay? If you're going, if you're, think about a number line, if you're adding in negative land, you're going to the left, and that's what subtracting is. So rewrite your problem so there's only one sign. So here's my problem now. X minus 12 equals 18. Inverse operation would be to add 12. My 12s cancel out. Negative, positive cancel out. So I get X equals 30. Okay, and now to check this, I plug it in. Oops, box it, Mrs. Bowden. I plug it in to my original x here. So I rewrote my problem already. So I have 30 plus negative 12 equals 18. And I don't like this double sign, so I'm going to rewrite it so it's just 30 minus 12 equals 18. And 30 minus 12 is 18, so I'm happy. Notice I put the little check mark to show that it's a check. Okay, one more quest problem. 20 equals m minus 18. That's not the way the other ones looked. All right, if you don't like the way it looks with the answer on the left and then the problem, you can rewrite it if you like. I like to rewrite it sometimes. Sometimes even when it's in the book this way, when I write it on my paper, I'll rewrite it. So I'll say m minus 18 equals 20. Now it's the way I like it. Opposite operation of subtraction, addition. Add 18 to both sides of my problem, both sides of my equal sign. Notice how I line the 18 up, and I line the 18 up underneath my 20. So negative 18 and positive 18, they cancel each other out. All I have left is the m equals 20 plus 18, 38. Look, I remembered to box my answer. All right, let's check that. 20 equals... 38 minus 18, is that true? Yep, 38 minus 18 is 20, okay? So you need to remember, you are not doing these in your head. You're showing me the work. I know you know the answer. The question isn't addition, these aren't addition and subtraction problems to see if you know how to add or subtract. This is to show me that you know how to solve them algebraically. That's it.